Taking us further tonight, it is my pleasure to welcome the celebrant of tonight, the Bishop David Abioye, for his valedictory speech. Make it bigger for Jesus as he comes forward. Let's have silence, please. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Please be seated. Praise God. Fortune is my portion in 2024. Thank you. Let's have some silence. As they used to say in um, some of our traditional church where we were before, the Lord is in his temple. Let the heart be silent in his presence. The president and the apostle over this commission Bishop David Oedipo. Our very dear mother, Pastor Faith Oedipo. Co laborers, sons of the prophets in the house, all other protocols observed. I count it a great privilege given by my father, Bishop David Oedipo, and an honor to stand before this esteemed congregation who are gathered to honor us in this valedictory service. First, I give all glory to God, who by election of grace found me faithful and enabled me to serve in his kingdom on the platform of this Liberation Commission since inception. To me, adventure in ministry was not a subject of being desirous or having an ambition, but simply fulfilling divine purpose. Coming from an humble background, under my parents, I simply found myself growing up in loving God and the things of the kingdom. My biological father of blessed memory was a lover of God a lover of his kingdom. And tonight, my wonderful mother is also here in this service, as well as my mother-in-law and a great host of our family members from everywhere. Secondly, I appreciate my spiritual father, whom God has used tremendously in no little way to impart my life, my wife and I, with grace till this moment. As a pastor over us, we have been well fed by the word of God. As a past finder, he has been used by God to guide us in the path of destiny. As a trailblazer, he has inspired us in the pursuit of divine plan and as a prophet, he has provided for us adequate covering in the journey of life. Meeting with him, 
God's servant, became like entering into a school and life transforming lessons have been learned. On this special occasion, it's my joy, therefore, to present this address, which I would like to begin by saying that there is no self-made man in life. And even though God is the one who makes people, he does so through the instrumentality of men that we see and relate with. Today, I sincerely acknowledge that such is the story of my stewardship in ministry under the tutelage of my mentor, Bishop David Oedepo, and on the platform of this Liberation Commission. Greatness is not a thing to wish, but a journey to make by following which by God's help, I've engaged myself since my first encounter with him in January 1980. Then I was 19 years old, or about to be 19 years old, which I believe from the foundation of the world was orchestrated by the Holy Spirit to fulfill divine purpose. Today, people look at me with admiration as a full-fledged duplicate of grace that is upon the life of my prophet, pastor, teacher, and mentor, Bishop David Oedeko. In a recently published book, In Honor of God's Servant, at the occasion of his 70th birthday, written by an erudite professor in Covenant University, titled Treasures of Spiritual Gratuity, to which I was privileged to do a foreword. I had remarked as follows. It is important to understand that learning is more valuable than earnings. This is because life in itself is a compendium of daily lessons. What you earn is for your pocket, but what you learn goes not only into your life, but into your future. For me and my wife, lessons learned so far has provided for us security of destiny. As it is the aspiration of every son, I stand before this holy congregation with a deep sense of appreciation to God and his servant that the spirit of the commission and the grace upon his life has rested evidently on me. As it was with Joshua under Moses and Elijah under Elijah, which continues, which puts me in continuity in the path of exploits all the days of my life. As earlier noted in this address, my personal relationship with God's servant, which commenced even before the birth of the mandate, has spanned close to 45 years, covering several spheres of life, including ministry, our nuclear and extended families, social spheres, etc. This relationship is quite extensive and deep, and we shall continue to be a part of it by God's grace as we, are, as we engage in post-retirement activities in full submission to the guidance of the Holy Spirit as taught us 
over the years by our fathers and mentors. Finally, to God's servant, again, the apostle over this commission, my wife and I want to say a very big thank you as well to our beloved mother who has created an environment for us to serve God in this commission. To all members, to all members of the Council of the Ministry and its various extensions, the management, beloved pastors, great co-laborers, all administrative staff, and indeed all members of the winner's family, we hereby express our hearty appreciation. It's been a journey of building relationships with imprinted lasting memories all through. And to all co-laborers in other ministries, friends, and other acquaintances who have come from far and near to grace this occasion, we do not take your coming for granted. We pray that the Lord will abundantly reward you all and honor you in return. He will as well grant everyone super safety in your journeys back to your destinations. God bless the Living Faith Church worldwide. And all members of the winner's family, thank you for listening with deep love from our hearts for all. Amen. Please give Jesus another big hand of praise for that celebrant speech. And you may please be seated. Yes, it's indeed a thing of joy. It's indeed a thing of celebration. Um, the church of God is marching forward. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. This is the kind of things that we we want to see in the in the christian world love unity progress togetherness this is what we want we don't want hatred we don't want uh, insult or anything of sort sort so it's a thing of, uh, of joy it's a thing of gladness Congratulations to uh, Bishop David Abioye for his uh, retirement from the Winners Chapel worldwide. So if you are watching this video and you are happy about what you are seeing in the Christian space in Nigeria, I want you to give this video a like. I want you to share this video, let it go viral. And Put your comments in the comment section of what you think about this video. Um, there was a video I watched uh, of a pastor, Dr. Paul Enenche, that when the like any video or any message that has hatred has hit, that is the kind of um, video that the world want to promote right the world don't want to preach who don't want you to preach love they don't want you to preach unity they don't want you to preach uh, to preach progress and peace the world wants you to preach hate to create enmity between people and we are here to say no to that we are here to say as long as we are alive in our lifetime we'll make sure that we do anything that we can under the grace of God to make sure that there's love, there's, uni there's unity, there's peace among Christians, and there's togetherness. So it's a really, it's really a thing of joy. It's really a thing of 
gladness to see Bishop David David Abioye uh, giving his speech. If you listen to this to the speech very well, it is quite humbling. It's it's that it is a testimony of of saints of the saints, right? This is it. This is really what God can do in the life that is surrendered to Him. So, if you want God to use you, the first thing that you will need to do is not any other thing but to surrender your life to Him first. And that is why we want to encourage you personally. I want to encourage you this moment if you have not given your life to Jesus. I want you to give your life to Jesus. Giving your life to Jesus is not is not a myth. It's not a it's not a fairy tale. It's not a story story. It is a reality that you have to believe in Jesus Christ as the Lord God that he is the son of God and he is God that he came from heaven to earth he died on the cross was buried he resurrected on the third day and now he's ascended and seated at the right hand of the father in heaven and as many as will believe in him there will be no condemnation for them again that is why i encourage you to surrender your life to jesus now ask jesus to come into your life Acknowledge his lordship over your life. Acknowledge you are a sinner and return to him. In Jesus' name.